Howdy, Cowboys Nation! It's time to saddle up and join the excitement on Cowboys News TV. Grab your favorite jersey, snag your lucky snack, and get ready to kick back in the coziest spot on the couch. We're about to take a wild ride through the latest and greatest happenings with America's team. This isn't your ordinary sports update. It's a full-on expedition into the heart and soul of the Dallas Cowboys. We've got twists, turns, and a dash of that good old Texas charm to keep you entertained. So before we dive headfirst into the gridiron drama, do us a solid favor. Wrangle that subscribe button. Subscribing isn't just a click. It's your ticket to join us on this epic journey. Help us carl our way to the impressive milestone of 5,000 subscribers. Lasso that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and let's kick off this football fiesta with gusto, Cowboys Nation. Your support means the world to us, so let's grow and enjoy the ride together. Howdy, Cowboys Nation. The NFL playoffs are upon us, and you know what that means. It's poaching season for top-tier coaching talent. Rumor has it that our defensive maestro, Dan Quinn, might be on the radar of a team with a coaching vacancy. Now, while we love seeing our coaches succeed, let's not forget we've got some unfinished business right here in Dallas. But hey, it's a testament to Quinn's skills that he's a hot commodity in the coaching world. Now, let's talk about key moments, and one guy who's making a splash is none other than our cornerback extraordinaire, Jordan Lewis. He's back in top form, breaking into the spotlight with some game-changing plays. It's players like Lewis who make us believe we've got the right pieces in place for a deep playoff run. Speaking of pieces falling into place, there's a trend in Dallas, players finding their way back home. Could a reunion with some former Cowboys be the missing link to propel us further into the playoffs? It's a storyline worth keeping an eye on as we gear up for the postseason. Now, let's talk power rankings. After a solid victory against Detroit, where do the Cowboys stand? Did we make a leap up the ranks, or are we holding our ground? Stick around to find out how the experts are rating America's team this week. Lastly, there's been some chatter among Cowboys fans about a recently released veteran. Opinions are divided on whether he should still be rocking the star on his helmet. Who could it be, and what's the buzz all about? We'll break it down and let you in on the debate. Before we wrap things up, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Your support means the world to us, and we're on a mission to keep you in the loop on all things Cowboys. We're back with the latest scoop on our Dallas Cowboys, and let me tell you, the last game against the Detroit Lions was a wild ride. It felt like a qualifying race with a twist. The Cowboys clinched a victory despite tripping over their own shoelaces in the final stretch. Now, that's what I call a heart-stopping win. So, what happened on the field? Well, the Cowboys seemed to be on a throwing spree when a bit of game management wisdom would have called for some good old-fashioned running. It gave the Lions an extra 40 seconds, and let's just say, things got interesting. And can we talk about that Swiss cheese defense? Come on, guys, tighten it up. But hey, a win's a win, right? Now, before we dive deeper, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. We're on a quest to reach 5,000 subscribers, and we need you on our team. Your subscription is our secret weapon. Help us grow and dominate the YouTube game. Alright, back to the game. The Cowboys had a chance to seal the deal with an interception, but then the unexpected happened. A penalty, a pass, and bam, the Lions had the ball back with more time than we'd like to admit. The clock management had us scratching our heads, and the Twitterverse was buzzing with fans questioning the play calling. And let's not forget that late game nosedive that had us all on the edge of our seats. The Cowboys kicked a field goal, but the defense had a bit of a hiccup, allowing the Lions to score a touchdown and set up a two-point conversion frenzy. It got chaotic, folks. Dak Prescott, our star QB, 
took the blame for a questionable pass that could have cost us the game. Emotions were running high, but hey, the defense stepped up when it mattered most. Shout out to them for saving the day. Now, as much as we love a win, let's not ignore the it's always something vibes that linger around our coaching decisions. Coach McCarthy's clock management and play calling have been under the microscope, and it's time to tighten up that ship. We're in a great position to conquer the NFC East and secure that number two seed in the conference, but we can't afford to trip over loose shoelaces in the playoffs. So, Cowboys Nation, let's rally behind our team, critique when needed, and hope for a smoother ride ahead. Before we sign off, don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Your feedback keeps us going strong. We're back with the latest scoop on our Dallas Cowboys, and let me tell you, the last game against the Detroit Lions was a wild ride. It felt like a qualifying race with a twist. The Cowboys clinched a victory despite tripping over their own shoelaces in the final stretch. Now, that's what I call a heart-stopping win. So, what happened on the field? Well, the Cowboys seemed to be on a throwing spree when a bit of game management wisdom would have called for some good old-fashioned running. It gave the Lions an extra 40 seconds, and let's just say, things got interesting. And can we talk about that Swiss cheese defense? Come on, guys, tighten it up. But hey, a win's a win, right? Now, before we dive deeper, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. We're on a quest to reach 5,000 subscribers, and we need you on our team. Your subscription is our secret weapon. Help us grow and dominate the YouTube game. Alright, back to the game. The Cowboys had a chance to seal the deal with an interception, but then the unexpected happened. A penalty, a pass, and bam, the Lions had the ball back with more time than we'd like to admit. The clock management had us scratching our heads, and the Twitterverse was buzzing with fans questioning the play calling. And let's not forget that late game nosedive that had us all on the edge of our seats. The Cowboys kicked a field goal, but the defense had a bit of a hiccup, allowing the Lions to score a touchdown and set up a two-point conversion frenzy. It got chaotic, folks. Dak Prescott, our star QB, took the blame for a questionable pass that could have cost us the game. Emotions were running high, but hey, the defense stepped up when it mattered most. Shout out to them for saving the day. Now, as much as we love a win, let's not ignore the it's always something vibes that linger around our coaching decisions. Coach McCarthy's clock management and play calling have been under the microscope, and it's time to tighten up that ship. We're in a great position to conquer the NFC East and secure that number two seed in the conference, but we can't afford to trip over loose shoelaces in the playoffs. So, Cowboys Nation, let's rally behind our team, critique when needed, and hope for a smoother ride ahead. Before we sign off, don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Your feedback keeps us going strong.